Hello, hello, hello world and hello everyone. This is Alex signing in to give you the latest news for EOS and other currencies. Alright, so I hope everyone is watching this video and you are all doing great. So, are you excited to know what's the latest news? Alright, then... I'll give you the latest news. This news is brought to you by preferredcurrency.news. All right. Now for today's news, it's week highlight EOS and ETH dApps create a new ATH of users. All right. But before I give you the details of the news, guys, uh, please uh, remember that we here in EOS Marketplace News, we are not financial advisors. All right. So um, please, please, please make your own research about the tokens or coins that we mentioned or that we will be mentioning in our videos because it's very important for you to research on your own and then you can decide for yourself. Um, when to invest or what to do if you want to invest or not right okay so again for today's news we highlight eos and eth dapps create a new ath users now a tweet by kevin rook shows 65 thousand plus people use various dapps within 24 hours last october 10. now eos gets a more significant percentage of users compared to Ethereum blockchain. Congrats, EOS! All right, a recent analysis um, analysis conducted by Kevin Rook, a prominent cryptocurrency and blockchain researcher, and also a popular YouTuber, shows an amazing number over 65,000 people using the top 20 dApps in both the Ethereum and EOS blockchain platforms, respectively. Out of over a thousand pre um, present in both blockchain platforms, this report he shared on the 9th of October 2018. Now, Ethereum versus EOS, the people choice, the people's choice rather, clearly identifying users in both platforms. Rook, who got his figures from Dapp Raider, identifies the number on the EOS blockchain as over 51,000 users, while those on the Ethereum blockchain is said to be over 15,000 users. Now, these users, however, were um, scattered across several dApps, which include some games apps such as CryptoKitties, some decentralized exchanges, and a host of other decentralized gambling platforms. So, um, this analytical report shows a promising future for blockchain and decentralized applications, as evident in the report shown the number of EOS DAP users clearly exceeds that of Ethereum, which could be linked to a number of reasons. Firstly, Ethereum not being fast enough can be linked to this. Secondly, EOS being a top choice in China and other parts of Asia could have been an advantage for dApps on the EOS blockchain as a significant number of the world's population resides in that region. All right. Now, but guys, however, Ethereum's decision to implement technologies which are able to scale up the blockchain enabling more transaction transactions than it supports presently could be a game changer for dApps on the Ethereum blockchain. Future of dApps. Also, um, the surge of users of these dApps seem to have a short-lived um, as subsequent or live as subsequent days after the surge of users. Data shows there has been a decline. At the time of writing, currency report shows a 14,000 plus users on both dApps. Until now, no one has been able to explain what really happened that resulted in the large influx of users within the space of 24 hours. Now, nevertheless, as time goes on, we should see improvements in current decentralized apps and also the introduction of faster and better dApps. 
All right. So, guys, this is the latest news for today. And, again, it's brought to you by PCN Currency News.